What would you say um, in regards to the Muslim community, the challenges we face as being Muslims, especially um, nowadays, now like you said the mosque is building a mosque against another mosque, like, how do you think like, that, what do you think that causes? So the greatest challenge is unity. Uh, in terms of the Muslim community, we lack unity. Yeah. Um, we, have, we still have this uh, you know, uh, affiliation to, our, uh, to back home. So for example, I'm an Indian. Or oh, I'm a Pakistani. Mm. I'm a Bengali. Mm. You know, I need a Bengali masjid. Yeah. Or I need a Pakistani masjid. Or I need an Indian masjid. Uh, the Arab brother also, I need an Arab masjid. You know, the Somali brother also, I need a Somali masjid. So that needs to be gone. That's one of the challenges we are facing, especially here in Leicester. And I've seen it in other areas as well. Yes, if you uh, need... Uh, if you need communication in your own language or if you want someone to speak to you in the language back home, then just employ those different imams yeah. in your masjid. You get it? So you could have a, a, a translator. You could have an Arab imam, you could have a Somali imam, you could have a Bengali imam in the same masjid that can communicate to everyone. But why, you know, on the same street have a four, four, four different masjids? Mm. So that, that's one thing uh, I think, you know, we as a Muslim community need to look into. Number, the second challenge is that we don't spend uh, much behind our youth. Yeah. In terms of you know developing our youth and building their skills, making them strong, you know to to make make them leaders basically. So we're leaving our youth to themselves, and then after 18, 19, 20 years of age, we start complaining that our youth That's are of no thing. good. The youth are of no good because we didn't make use of them when they were with us. So that is why uh, I would say that instead of spending millions behind a building or making you know the masjid posh and fancy and all that but rather spend that money in development of your youth yeah. and your community that will go up a longer way inshallah because the prophet sallallahu once he was passing by abdullah bin umar al-dilan's house and i think he was mending the wall yeah. so the prophet sallallahu said that your fall is more inevitable than the fall of that wall meaning you could die yeah yeah before that wall could actually even fall down so rather work on yourself, yeah. you know, than working on all this mortar and you know, Just the looks of yeah, things. working on 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 these buildings is is not the objective. The objective is working on our community, yeah. on our on our youth. So, so alhamdulillah, to sorry, cut you off. To try and resolve one of that uh, issues is that just to bring youth, just to bring youth in the masjid is a challenge. Yeah. It's always a challenge because they find it a bit uh, monotonous and they find it that, you know, it's boring for them. Yeah. So for that, I would say that we need a youth set up, youth clubs, exactly, you know, yeah. where we have mentors, we have motivators, uh, inspirational speakers that regularly visit these uh, youth clubs. And from there, that could be the step of them, either coming to the masjid, going out in the path of Allah, you know, That's doing other I mean. things.